All right, everybody, good evening. It is our 31st day on the trail. It's Thursday, May the 5th, I believe, and that's the trail. Um, I wanted to show you that because that is a remarkable stretch of the trail today. That stretch of the trail, if you can see it on at home, it's about 10 feet down from the top of the knob that you can see down to where I'm standing. And that uh, literally is the only 10 feet of trail that is goes down today. Karen and I started at uh, Cajon Pass this morning um, and we stopped in, there's a Del Taco there. We stopped in at like 610 and they're, they're supposed to open at 530. There was a sign on the window. Um, it's combined with a convenience store. A sign on the window said uh, it's closed because we just received a shipment. And the lady at the convenience store said, uh, um, did, are you guys hikers? We, we had our backpacks on or, you know, clearly hikers I said yeah yeah we're hiking pct we're heading out right now i'm panning while i'm talking now pointing out to the west as the sun sets here um over the pretty mountains of the san gabriels At any rate so she said well she'll make an exception for you and uh the lady came out from behind the counter putting away this stuff and she said let me let me make your order so that was like trail magic right there we got a a quick breakfast burrito and we darted out the door and headed to the trail and we've come up uh, 16.7 miles today and we come up 4,000 feet over those 16.7 miles uh, that was a rough rough day one of the longest uh, we got tired we just got in here and um, we found this it's not really on our on our gut hook application trail app but it's on the map and uh, so we at the analog map we looked at that and said well let's take a look in here and uh, there's really not much here at Camp Hatchie uh, you see it's trail mile uh, 358.63 trail mile uh, so like I said today we finished here and two or three folks have stopped by but there's just no level ground here even we had a little bit of a challenge getting in here and uh we, but we found something it's slopey and you can see it's slopey way downhill but uh we're getting in there we made dinner already and uh there's karen working on finishing up her dinner and licking her wounds from today yeah. she had uh quite a i'll just stay on her she had quite the adventure as uh, another rattlesnake she took the lead again and all of a sudden the rattlesnake sitting off about a foot from her left uh, leg. Don't sit here and stare at me. Don't sit and stare at her. All right, I'll stare down here, down the valley. Anyways, that rattlesnake lit up on her. She jumped about a foot in the air. And when she came down, she came down off the um, trail. Her right foot missed the trail because we were kind of on a ledge. And uh, she she went down and she couldn't got her balance. But she ended up kind of jumping beyond the snake and he coiled up and saw me coming and kind of stood me off uh while she got her regained her balance and got back on her feet and uh the snake decided the two of us were too much to take on and rattled his way up the hill we've got a video of that you probably saw it already um but uh yeah so she is uh, i'm rattled and she just seems to find the rattlesnakes at any rate, we're going to close out for tonight because we are worn out, and uh, tomorrow we're heading into Wrightwood. Goodbye.